so my name is mahesh warrior i am uh, currently studying in munash university in melbourne australia and i'm doing my uh, masters in it so this session is more about um, my journey towards munash and australia and a uh, few do and don'ts that you should be aware of and uh, as a part of this webinar i'll be covering a um, few tips on applications the uh, admits that i've got and how to go about finalizing a university um the sop process for australia is a bit different from the one uh, you have for canada uh, ireland and america so i'll be talking about that too um my visa experience life of, of a student in australia and uh, the different internship and jo job prospects that australia can provide you so uh, about me i'm from mumbai i have done my bachelor's in electronics engineering from rait nehru and uh, after my undergraduation i worked as a software developer in las and tubo infotech and after that i'm doing my masters in information technology and i've just completed one sem uh, my second sem is going to be starting soon and yeah so a lot of people ask me why australia because uh, you know people say usa has a better job prospect and uh, canada is cheaper and all those things so the main reasons why i chose australia is uh, mainly because the universities that i applied to were at par with the best university universities in the world um you know the the uh, the universities in australia are divided into two groups they are called the g8 and the atn network uh the g8 is uh more or more or less like the iits that we have in india and the atn network is more like the nits so there are eight universities in the g8 and there are five univers universities in the atn uh, so most yeah so all the questions uh that i can see in uh, the chat box i'll be answering them after the session so please uh, uh reserve all your questions till the end uh so the main reasons why i apply to australia uh, is yes because the universities were at par with the best uh, most of the courses that uh, the australian universities provide have an accreditation so make sure you apply to a course that uh, has an accreditation by the australian government for example uh, the faculty of it of monash had an accreditation from australian computer society and uh, it's the same for all other uh, most of the most of other it uh, courses like data science and uh, master business information system all of that so before you apply make sure you have an accreditation uh, the other reason was the tuition fee is comparatively lesser than uh, what you see in 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 uh, usa it's because um, mainly because of the conversion rate i guess uh, one us dollars about 60 rupees and one australian dollars only about like 40 to 50 rupees so um, the tuition fees are considerably less but the living costs are actually pretty high depending upon where you're staying so if you're staying in a remote location uh if if you're staying in a city like adelaide or brisbane the chances of your living cost is going to be less but at the same time uh if you're staying in a metropolitan city like uh, melbourne or sydney uh the living costs are going to be really high the application process is pretty straightforward and easy uh you don't require any um letter of recommendations or sops to be sent to the universities uh sop has to be sent to the visa council which i'll be covering in the next slides um work rights we have around uh, 20 hours to work every fortnight and full time uh, after you you graduate or during the vacations um also you get 2 uh, years of work permit after your uh, student visa expires and uh, on getting a pr you can work again uh, full time which also i'll be covering in the next slides 
so um, starting with the application process before you do the application process um, there's just one test that you have to take there is no GRE uh, Austrian University usually do not accept GRE or GMAT so they just require an English proficiency test which is uh, the IELTS TOEFL or the PTE so the, for the people who don't have uh, much time I would recommend you to take PTE because that is comparatively easier but since uh, Australia is a commonwealth uh, nation it's it's ideal if you go for uh, IELTS and again not all universities accept TOEFL but then most of the big uh, universities do consider all three and um, so talking about my applications I applied via IDP Chennai and uh, they accept only five universities uh, to which you can apply so I, apply, I applied to Monash University of Queensland RMIT QUT and UTS all of them I applied for either Masters of Business Information System or Masters of IT. So uh, it depends upon the course uh, structure in each of these universities. Uh, for example, RMIT and QUT had, even though I applied for Masters of Information Systems, uh, the course structure was more or less uh, pretty technical. So before you apply to these universities, please check what the expectations from these universities are and um, the reason i selected monash is first uh, the course itself uh, you have before you select a university make sure you are uh, you you are well versed with the course uh, whether it's it's uh, towards your liking or not um, because most of the universities have different course structure even though the name of the course uh, is the same and then you need to uh, check the location uh, because uh, most of the jobs that uh, you know that most of the part times and most of the technical jobs that uh, you'll be uh, trying to find they will be available only in near to the CBD so even if your university is in a metropolitan city uh, but it's far away from you know the uh, CBD it's going to be really difficult for you to uh, find jobs the university has to have a good reputation in the among the employees employers and uh, almost all universities in Australia have a very good ranking but then just make sure you go for the best ones and again the expenses uh, living and the tuition fees so uh, the statement of purpose is one really important thing that you'll be submitting to the visa council, not to the universities. You have to submit the SOP to the university only if they ask you for that. For example, if you're changing your uh, stream completely, if you want to go from uh, a, a bio background to something, you know, in arts or IT, then most probably they'll be asking you for the SOP to give you the admit. But uh, it's usually uh, the visa council to whom you will be submitting the statement of purpose. So this statement of purpose is more or less uh, 2000 to 3000 words uh, document expressing why you want to do um, masters in this particular field, in this particular country, in this particular university. So you have to write down all the factors uh, that you have come across and um, yeah so this is nothing but uh, a, a way of filtering out people uh, who are trying to migrate to australia so uh, you should properly write in your statement of purpose what your financial plans are and you have to properly state that after the completion of your course you are going to come back to your home country and you are going to work if you're going to work how are you going to um, cover those expenses all of that and you also have to compare australia with all other countries saying why australia is the best and why you won't you you wouldn't go to a country like germany where the tuition fees is very less so you have to um, talk about all the points that i've mentioned in the slides so that they get a very good point uh, why you're not a potential migrant